Let's say I give you a credit card and the interest rate on the card is 3% per month. What is the annual rate that you're actually going to be charged? Well, you might multiply 3% per month times 12 months and come up with 36%. But actually, the effective annual rate is 42.57%. Now, you're going to have to learn about three different kinds of interest rates. The first is the nominal rate. Nominal means in name only. The nominal rate is sometimes called the quoted rate. In this case, the nominal rate is 36%. The periodic rate is the amount of interest that you are charged each period. In this case, it's each month. So the periodic rate in this case is 3%. In order to determine the nominal rate, you multiply the periodic rate times the number of compounding periods. In this case, the periodic rate was 3% and there were 12 compounding periods for 12 months, so the nominal rate was 36%. The effective annual rate is the rate that you're actually charged on an annual basis. Now remember that you're paying interest on interest each compounding period. Here is the formula for the effective annual rate. In this case, M is the number of compounding periods and I is the nominal interest rate. So. Let's look at the example again. I, in this case, is 36% or 0.36. M is the number of compounding periods or 12 for 12 compounding periods per year, one per month. 0.36 divided by 12 equals 0.03. So one plus 0.03 equals 1.03. 1.03 to the power of 12 is 1.4257. Take 1.4257 and subtract one and you get 0.4257. Show this as a percentage, it's 42.57%. So the effective annual rate is 42.57%. Copyright 2008 by teachmefinance.com. All rights reserved.